Hello, everyone. I am excited to be here today to chat with you about really what I think sets published authors apart from people who just someday want to become an author. And really, that's mindset. I'm going to dig into it. But again, I think that this is one of the most important things that you can do if you want to become an author. So hello, I'm Dr. Beth Brombos of Blogger to Author. I'm a best-selling author and I help bloggers and other content creators through the sometimes confusing process of getting their books out into the world. I help make it easy and as fast as possible so that they can get that amazing impact of having a book and see the results in their businesses. So again, the reason why I wanted to get on and talk about this today is because I think it's so, so important. And this mindset shift, again, it's what sets published authors apart from people who are just maybe working on a book or they want to write a book someday. And I just wanted to start out by telling a story of how this played out in my own life. So uh, going back to the beginning of when I started to write and publish books, my first one went together very fast in actually about 30 days or a little less than that. So it was a very quick process. My second book, not so much. So my first book was one that was related to my fitness blog. My second book is really what I teach as part of really the framework that I promote. And it's called Blogger to Author because I'm not very creative with names, obviously. And that book took a year longer to write and publish than it should have. So I started on it back in, I guess, spring of 2016. And I wrote the outline. I was working on it, working to make sure that I was covering everything I needed to. I was pulling content that I could reuse and expand upon. And then I was writing new content. Um, so then I had a lot of big things going in my life. I moved across the country. I moved from Chicago to Oklahoma. I had a baby. There was a lot going on in my life, but that meant that I didn't get the book done as quickly as I wanted to. But I will say that those things weren't an excuse. Really what happened was that I was working to make a living as I moved. I wanted to be able to move from home as opposed to trying to find a comparable job. I was just working in fitness and teaching fitness classes. And when we moved, I was at the beginning of my third trimester and it just wasn't really um, a reality for me. Or it wasn't going to be possible for me to teach a lot of fitness classes in my third trimester. It was just too difficult physically. Um, so... I needed to make money and I let my mindset shift towards making money and doing client work as opposed to making writing my book a priority. And again, like you have to do what you got to do. And so if that's something that you've had to do, I don't want to belittle that. But really the point I want to show you is that if I would have said, yes, writing my book is a big priority. It's something that I need to do. And I if I would have said, you know what, this needs to be a priority, so I need to spend maybe one to two hours less of client work or one to two hours less of my time on client work so that I can get this out into the world. If I would have made that mindset shift and decided that my book was a priority, I would have finished it on time or maybe a month or two late. I wouldn't have completely let it fall to the side until... A year, actually, it was over a year after I started writing it. When I did finally finish the book, I made that mindset shift. I'm a huge fan of quarterly goals, and so I sent my one of my goals for Q2 of 2017 to get the book published, and that's absolutely what I did. 
because it was a priority, I made it get done. And it's not like I had more time. I still had just as much or maybe even more client work. I was also a full-time stay-at-home mom to a six-month-old. So I was really, really busy. Um, But I got it done because, again, I made it a priority. And so what I want you to take home from this story, this message, and again, this is something that also I see my clients have to go through. I've seen people who are, you know, they're, they talk to me, they're in contact with me, they follow me and they say, oh yeah, I want to write a book, but then it's not a priority and nothing happens. Nothing moves. They don't do anything to move forward with their book. It's not a priority. And so it just sits and it never happens. It never gets written. I've seen people who have been talking for writing a or talking about writing a book for years and it never happens because it's never a priority. They don't put it to the top of the list. The people who get it done are the people who put their book on top of the list, who consistently do a little bit of work every single week to get it done. I'm not saying you have to sit down and spend eight hour days working on your book, but you need to make a little progress and you need to make sure that it is a priority so that when you do have half an hour or an hour unexpectedly of work time that you make sure that you do something to move that goal ahead, that project ahead. So I hope that you kind of understand the difference between the two. I hope that I'm explaining this well. I think that you'll be able to think through some examples in your own life of when something was a priority and when it wasn't a priority, it was just kind of on your to-do list. Think about New Year's resolutions. You know, if we're all really busy and if working out is a priority to you, you will get it done, even if it's just 20 minutes at home. But if it's not high on that priority list, it's easy to let it slip and it's easy to not work out. It's easy to just veg out on the couch for 20 minutes as opposed to maybe doing some body weight exercises at home. So that's another example. But so if that book is on your to-do list, if it's on your wish list, you need to make that mindset shift. You need to make it a priority. Or if you can't, you need to understand that it's not going to get done. So if you are truly motivated by everything a book is going to do for you, if you know that it's going to be an essential part of your business, for example, and that you need it, it, that it's going to be a really valuable part of your sales funnels, that sort of thing, that you can use it as a bridge to get people to buy maybe a $50 or $100 course or something that's a little more than that, whatever it is. You have to make it a priority. You have to get it done. So again, there are different ways that you can go about this. Uh, You could simply mark time in your calendar if that works for you. I know it doesn't for everybody, maybe you. I have a friend who's a big fan of using sticky notes. I am too. So I will actually write my top goals for a quarter on a sticky note and keep it posted somewhere in my office where I can look at it all the time so I can keep reminding myself These are the things that I need to focus in on. Everything else is not a priority. Um, And so that can just help you kind of organize your days. And this is also something that I go into detail a little bit in my course. Uh, You can learn more about that at bloggertoauthor.com slash course. Actually, the first full module of the course is about that mindset shift because I do think it's so important. And again, And working with dozens of clients, it's the thing that sets them apart. And I see this all the time too. And people who I'm in contact with a lot of people too, who are working on books, they've got a great outline for it and it's not getting done because it's not a priority because they're putting other things first, whether it's client work, blog work, it doesn't matter. But if you're going to get that book done and if you're going to see the impact from that book, you need to make it a priority. So I hope that this inspires you a little bit as well. Um, if you need a extra handholding, if that's what motivates you, definitely check out uh, my one-on-one coaching services. Uh, you can do that at bloggertoauthor.com slash services. I have some one-time packages and then I also have some ongoing packages as well where we can meet at 
really essentially uh, however often you like to keep up on progress and really to formulate an individualized plan for where you should go next to successfully write and launch your book. So again, you can learn more about those at bloggertoauthor.com slash services. But big take home message. I do hope that if you seriously want to become an author and if you have a book that needs to get out into the world, I really do hope that you'll take a second look and make that mindset shift. Decide that it needs to be a priority. Put something um, out there, whatever it is, to remind you of your priorities, whether it's a phone background, a sticky note, whatever you do, write it in your calendar. Just make sure that you keep moving forward, that you keep spending time consistently to move the needle forward so that you can get your book out into the world. I promise you it will be well worth the time. So until next time, happy writing and leave any questions you have in the comments. I would be happy to answer them. Bye.